Roused by the finding of Brookhart's mutilated body, a mob stormed the jail here to get his confessed kidnappers. Tear gas couldn't stop him, says Under Sheriff Hamilton. We held the crowd off as long as the tear gas held out. The crowd kept coming on, and we did dare not shoot on account of the women and children. From their cell windows, the two culprits could see the mob howling for their lives. Other prisoners saw and trembled too. We could see the mob from the windows in our cells on the third floor. They were demanding these two men. The mob came in up onto the third floor. The boys were worried about whether they would get the right man or not. Out into beautiful St. James Park, the whimpering pair was dragged. And on that tree, Thomas Thurman was yanked to his doom in less time than it takes to tell it. Then his body was cut down and burned. Meanwhile, a hundred yards away, the other kidnapper, Jack Holmes, was hanged to another tree. Feeling was so great over the atrocious kidnap murder that Governor Rolfe himself condones the lynching. The people of California are peaceable and law-abiding citizens. It's no wonder after the body of young Brookhart was recovered yesterday, that they were so aroused at the kidnapping and the murdering of this young man that they momentarily forgot themselves and was determined to give notice to the world that kidnapping and the murders which follow it would not be tolerated in this state. The county jail at St. Joseph, Missouri, also was stormed by a mob, which overpowered sheriff's forces and a National Guard tank detachment, despite a heavy gas barrage, to get at a Negro charged with criminal assault. They wrecked the steel door and the interior of the prison, and the Negro was lynched and his body burned. Governor Park of Missouri is enraged over the mob violence and says he'll bring the lynchers to justice. Oh, what a terrible week America has 